What's up, guys? It's Joel Benavides with the Block Squad Podcast. It is the 10th of June, 2019, and we're here for the 59th episode of Block Squad. Welcome. Um, I kind of wanted to do a, a low-key type of uh, stream, so I'm not actually announcing this on Twitter. Uh, I just uh, thought it would be a little more uh, intimate, a little more personal, um, and, uh, and low stress. So um, we're just going to proceed as normal, and I'll make a big deal out of number 16. Uh, so uh, without further ado, let's, uh, let's get on with it. Um, here, let me get the mic closer because I have some levels on the monitor uh, changed. So uh, we're looking at Bitcoin. As we can see, we pumped up out above this trend channel here. Um, and I don't know if that's uh, a breakout uh, above the trend channel and, and this cup and handle, alleged cup and handle uh, is, is, is breaking out, but uh, we're definitely gonna take a look. Um, real quick, before we get into uh, anything technical, I just wanted to bring up a snapshot of the market. We can see that we're uh, significantly different from where we were last night. We're a little bit up. Well, not significantly different. We're still kind of checkered, but we're, we're up in some spots from 1% to 8%, depending on whether you're talking about Bitcoin or Litecoin or anything in between. Um, so, And then uh, on the downside, you know, like a percentage point or two here and there. Um, so, but we're gonna take a, a grander look at all this other stuff, um, and uh, and that's it. Like I said, it's gonna be a little low key today, guys. So uh, I'm not gonna stress about making a big deal out of certain things. Um, but let's uh, let's let's go through the news first. I always kind of wanted to try going through the news first. And I never do because it's just easier for me to warm up with the squawk. But being that it's a low key stream and I'm not making any official announcements or anything like that, uh, it might be a little bit easier. Uh, and I'm going to give myself a chance to stumble through this today. Uh, so uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at trending stories four hours ago from investinblockchain.com. Ripple opens offices in Switzerland to sell XRP to institutional investors. As you know, if you've been following along the stream or anything else throughout the news space in the crypto world lately, XRP has just been uh, going nuts. Let's take, a, let's take a quick look at it while we're talking about news there. We just, yeah, we have seen a corresponding pump uh, over the last couple of hours. And, uh, but overall trend still seems to be downward and we still kind of seem to be within this. It's like a wedge right here, like a triangle. Uh, we'll take a closer look at XRP as we go in through the rest of, through the rest of the stream. We were looking at uh, Bitcoin against Tether on the Binance when we first came in. That's where this candle is peeking up above the resistance that we had drawn last night. Uh, five hours ago, cryptocurrency regulators on the agenda for world finance leaders at the G20 summit. Um, so I wanted to kind of drag that over here. I wanted to look at it with you guys. Uh, the lead statement in the article says, in their financial statement, G20 finance ministers and central bank heads paid special attention to cryptocurrency and digital asset regulation along with pressing topics like global economies and trade wars. On June 9th, which was yesterday, finance ministers and central bank governors from the countries representing the G20 ended a two-day meeting that took place in Fukuoka, Japan. So that's just what I wanted to bring in. I guess here's like an image of the actual meeting. Uh, again, that took place yesterday, June 9th in Japan. Um, so it uh, looks like they were talking about fintech and crypto. Uh, interesting stuff. I just wanted to show you that, guys. There's another story that I want to go over. Um, we'll pull that up after I read this one. 12 hours ago from uh, Digital Bitcoin Twitter account, at Digital Bitcoin. There's a retweet from Crypto 
Mudge Invest one. I don't know why people make their Twitter accounts illegible. I guess they're tr trying to be creative, but it really makes it difficult to pronounce it. Am I? I'm. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop doing it. Sorry. Uh, Twelve hours ago. Yeah. So uh, this person uh, or entity retweeted how Digibyte can change the world. Digibyte developer explains Noah Seedman. This was a very thought-provoking conversation. On and on. Uh, let's see, there's more uh, retweets, but I'm not going to worry about them. There's something about Telegram dev channel talking about digital assets lately. That's from uh, the same Twitter user. But this is the this is the story I wanted to bring up ago, uh, with you guys. 18 hours ago from uh, beingcrypto.com, Russia considers creating a financial center for cryptocurrency trading on the Chinese border. Uh, now, we talked about this last night. I said it would be interesting. I'm trying to be good and follow up with some of the stories that we talk about because I haven't done that. So I, I have this this Google search up because I started looking at the news article and I said, well, where is it? And so it's on this little island called Bolshoi Usuriski. Usuriski. And uh, I was just curious about the climate right now at 60 degrees Fahrenheit looks like with 81% humidity and not a lot of wind. So it doesn't look great. It uh, looks like it's raining this week. Um, I mean, I guess 60 degrees Fahrenheit isn't terrible when you're talking about 81. Like when 81% humidity isn't terrible when you're talking about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, just for reference, guys, that's 16 degrees Celsius. Anyway, this is the name of the island. Uh, and I was looking at it on Google Maps. I'll try to pull it up here. And it's right in between, right in between China and Russia, obviously, uh, but uh, slightly inland from the northern parts of Japan. So if you follow Japan up, and then you kind of uh, travel to the left on a map, you can see that's that's where the that's where the, the, the island is. It's kind of like in a cross section of three rivers. So interesting stuff. Uh, here's the article. Uh, lead statement says, according to the head of the Agency of Far East for Investments and Exports, or IPA, Leonid Petukov, a proposal is being considered to create an offshore financial center on Bolshoi Usuriski Island. The island located between the borders of China and Russia would be a hub for cryptocurrency trading as well as other financial operations. So um, obviously from like uh, an American or exclusively American standpoint, you know, this is um, this is concerning. But from a globalist uh, and uh, cryptocurrency trader perspective, it's not. It's exciting. It's it's fundamental it's positive fundamental news so it depends on how you want to look at it guys um i guess it, it all also all depends on your on your uh political outlook but i did want to bring that up to you guys so uh that's gonna do it for the news let's see uh we talked yesterday about max max kaiser making statements about facebook's crypto and how it's gonna kill xrp a lot of like XRP uh, fundamentalists out there. A lot of XRP haters. Um, personally, and I hope this doesn't like uh, paint me in a bad shadow with some of you guys, but I don't really care. I, I, I like XLM. I like Stellar as a payment system more than, than Ripple. It's just not for any other reason that XRP has an image problem. And like the dude owns just so much of it. It's all pre-mined and it's really not, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't fall in line with the true essence of a decentralized platform. Like, uh, I believe the guy, I can't think of his name right now. has just way too much control. Uh, so, uh, that's it. I'm going to skip over Twitter today, guys. But if you do want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at Joel Benavides. Uh, and, uh, and so that's it. Now let's take a look at, let's, let's, Briefly look at uh, total market cap. We're at uh, 242.6 trill, and uh, and we're at the top of today's range in terms of of, of market cap. 
price i'm sorry volume has been relatively steady fluctuating slightly but relatively steady over you know the last couple of days a few days i should say so i just want to bring that up to you guys we're going to look at uh the uh, top 20. uh yesterday we mentioned that maker had moved into the top 20 uh but no longer uh, they got booted and nem is back in there in top 20. Uh, so we'll go over that in a minute. Here's gas. And uh, we I think uh, last night, no, that wasn't last night. Uh, yesterday we we're looking at this on the daily chart and we could see this kind of candle forming. Uh, so this is, this is interesting. Um, it's certainly different from, from what we've seen over the last few days. As I pull up the daily on gas, you know, we can see uh, that's a somewhat pronounced candle yesterday as compared to the last few days. So um, I'm just keeping an eye on gas because, you know, its status as a derivative of NEO. So there it is. Uh, let's see on the daily, um, nothing nothing stand, standing out to me apart from maybe like a center line crossover on the MACD uh, and uh, slightly more buy volume to the downside than, than sell volume to the upside. Um, but we'll keep an eye on that, guys. Uh, Nam coming in at 20th, trading at 8.5 cents. That's up 1.39% since yesterday. Uh, Tezos XTZ in at 19th by market cap, trading at 1 at 27, up 1.4% since yesterday. Neo, as we can see here, is trading at 12 and 43. That's up 4.98% on the day. Uh, let's uh, zoom in here and take a look at the hourly chart. And we can see the uh, last few hours how it's kind of been bouncing up and down. Uh, but that that real push to the upside on NEO guys took place at 0400 UTC. Uh, so just a few hours ago, basically, about, ten, about nine hours ago. And then we've been uh, range bound ever since. So uh, that's NEO. Let's take a look at Ethereum Classic against Tether on the Binance. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, according to Coin Market Cap, Ethereum Classic is trading at 8.36, up 0.63%. Binance reports ETC trading at uh, eight. Sorry, yeah, eight and, and 29, up 2.23% on the day. So that's Ethereum Classic, guys. Uh, moving along, uh, we have uh, Cosmos Atom in its 16th by market cap. According to CMC, trading at 6 and 10, that's down 0.06% on the day. IOTA, by symbol MIOTA, in at 15th by market cap, trading at 43 cents. That's up 1.94% according to the CMC. Uh, here, I, I'm pulling up Dash right now, guys. Dash against Tether on the Binance. Binance reports Dash at, trading at 146 and 30, up 3.04% on the daily and then cmc is reporting dash trading 147 and 68 up to six seven or it's i'm sorry up 2.67 percent on the day uh monero xmr against tether on the binance binance reports 85 and 75 is the trading price and up 2.84 percent on the day cmc reports monero trading at 87 and 35 up 1.68 percent on the day uh, cardano ada is uh is actually above tron we'll do we'll do tron first since tron is actually uh next tron is coming in at 12th by market cap and uh they're trading at uh 3.1 cents back up in the three cent range that's down actually uh, over the last 24 hours 1.03 percent and uh and uh, according to uh its trade against tether on the binance uh, it is trading at also 3.1 cents, up 4.93%. So, uh, slightly different. Uh, Cardano coming in at 11th by market cap, trading at 8.4 cents, up 1.64% on the CMC. Uh, Stellar Lumens coming in at 10th by market cap, trading at 12 cents, down a quarter of a percentage point on the CMC. Here we can see it trading at 12 cents against Tether on the Binance. Moving uh, past, uh, uh, well into the top 10 now guys, Tether of course in at nine, trading at 101. BSV as we can see here, 
uh, is trading at 189.54, uh, up to a 2.86 percent. That's against the dollar on the Bitfinex. CMC reports, however, that uh, that BSV is trading at 193.83 and down 0.65% on the 24 hour period. Uh, Binance against uh, Tether on the, or I'm sorry, Binance, yeah, Binance against Tether on the Binance, uh, trading at 31 of 45 down or up 4.5%. And CMC reports Binance is trading at 193 and 83, down 0.04%. So nearly flat for Binance guys. Uh, kind of a significant sell wall right here uh, on the upside and uh, that certainly seems like uh, that's where we're going uh, people targeting uh, slightly above 3144 on the Binance for Binance uh, yes and, and, and again guys we can see oh, on the hourly chart this this uh, pump up to the upside uh, it seems to fit in with some of the some of the trends uh, and, and not with others. So I'd say uh, as a as a market on the whole, we're we haven't really broken out of any any uh, patterns, but definitely on Bitcoin, it seems like we're moving in a in a direction. So, um, but yeah, we're almost there. Uh, so EOS trading at six and thirty six. Uh, Litecoin uh, in at fourth by market cap. Let's we'll skip over Bitcoin Cash. Uh, Litecoin uh, tr trading at 125 and 80. That's up 7.51 percent of the day, according to the CMC. Uh, XRP. Here's Litecoin, guys, real quick, briefly. And uh, that candle looks really uh, significant right there on the CMC or on the on Trading View. And then again, briefly, uh, Bitcoin Cash and XRP. XRP at 40 cents, 39 cents. Uh, Ethereum ETH coming in at second of course on the cmc trading at 245 and 26 up 1.09 percent against tether on the binance trading at 240 and 84 up 4.26 percent and lastly of course bitcoin here we have them against the dollar on coinbase is trading at 7949 even and up 4.12 percent uh cmc reports bitcoin trading at 8021 and 16 up 2.06 percent that's gonna do it for the squawk uh i ain't got anything for you guys uh in terms of of like crazy ta we can see uh looking let's let's take a look at coin uh coinbase bitcoin on the daily and we'll zoom in here we can see that stochastics are whip sawing just above over sold territory and um and uh macd is still above the center line uh, with um, with uh, reduced volume trading over the last few hours, uh, but we are slightly above uh, the existing uh, trend channel. Uh, but that could be, uh, you know, a function of just the original trend channel unfolding rather than a break in the current trend channel. Uh, maybe that statement is a little metaphysical but um here we can see on the hourly that we're definitely above this resistance that we've been testing over and over again over the last few days so uh, that's all i got for you guys right now yeah we pumped up and then we're consolidating um a little bit later i'm gonna measure this and then uh over the next few hours we can see where it consolidates so we can maybe set a target um and adjust that target throughout the day uh, but that's all i got for you guys uh follow me on twitter i'm at joel benavides and uh and i'll be putting those those tweets out eventually you can see on the bottom of the screen right now if you're watching i'm at a at j-o-e-l-b-e-n-a-b-i-d-e-z or you can follow me or search block squawk b-l-o-k-s-q-u-a-w-k and uh I'm out of here, guys. Uh, time now, 8.27 a.m. on the Central Standard Time Zone, 13.27, 13.28 on the UTC clock. And Bitcoin currently trading at 79.59, guys. Uh, we'll see you later. Uh, good luck trading. And, uh, and, uh, and we'll, yeah, I mean, we'll see you later. I'll, I'll, I'll be back maybe later on today uh, or early uh, tomorrow. I'll be exhausted in the morning, but uh, sometimes that's just the, 
function of the way things go around here. We'll see you guys later. Cheers.